Lisa, what do you think? You know, I, I'm just thinking about this phrase, which I think I can say, so I'm going to say, the phrase creepy-ass cracker, right? right? And we haven't talked about that very much, and, and nope. whether that's offensive or not. I, I personally think it's almost funny. I mean, I just do. I think that's the kind of way you talk and you get a smile. Oh, this creepy-ass cracker, you know. She, it's kind of a, an amusing way of describing somebody, and the word creepy is really the operative part of that term, that he was concerned. This guy is creepy, but in a little bit lighthearted way. And if you could compare that with the way George Zimmerman was talking about Trayvon Martin, which was not in the least bit funny, uh, you know, calling him an effing punk and an a-hole, I mean, clearly derogatory. No other way to interpret it. I mean, I think you have two really different versions of what's going on. One person who's just slamming and insulting the other one, and Trayvon Martin saying, you know, I'm a little bit concerned about this guy, but still he's keeping it kind of lighthearted with Rachel Gentel. There's no evidence at all that Trayvon Martin had any animus towards George Zimmerman. And I've always thought it's strange, the idea that he's lurking somewhere behind invisible bushes or whatever, and he's just going to haul off and sucker punch him right. out of the blue. I mean, that story just doesn't make sense to me. Right. He didn't How know could he be 